Hi, my name is Benjamin Goey, and I am a consultant at Datamensional. And what we're going to go over today is some Pentaho analysis uh, stuff, which is basically the how to restrict data within a OLAP cube inside of the Pentaho suite. And what I'm running here is Pentaho 3.7, the business intelligence suite. And I'm running on top of Windows 7. Uh, x64 so it's a 64-bit operating system uh, so one of the more trickier things I've noticed with uh, uh, especially if you haven't done it in a few versions is getting Mondrian set up uh, for security so one thing to say right off the bat is that the security um, is is only role based so you have to turn that button on or that switch rather and you have to um, also uh, make sure that your users go to the appropriate roles because you can't do it role to role. So um, I'll show you an example of that but uh, in, later in the video. But let's go ahead and try to get this um, installed or, or configured correctly. So if you're running uh, Pentaho, you want to go to your root directory. If, you've used, if you have Enterprise Edition you, and you use the graphic install, you can go to program files just like I am here and since I'm running the 64-bit edition uh, it's right in the main program files directory but if you're using 32-bit you would obviously go to the program files x86 but the bottom line is just to get to your main directory right so this is my root Pentaho directory and the next thing I'm going to go is server so uh, most nearly all Pentaho installations starting at the, uh, the Pentaho root are going to be structured this way or, or a lot of them very similar and then you're going to go to the BI server then you're going to go to Pentaho solutions and then you're going to go to system and then what the next thing we're going to look for is the Pentaho objects spring Pentaho objects spring so if you double click on this you know it's taking me into my XML editor which I'm using Dreamweaver but you certainly can use whatever you'd like any text editor will do hmm. okay so uh, it's nice using some kind of XML editor like this because then it can tell you when you're doing something funky when you're editing this uh, like if you haven't closed a tag or something like that but if you go down to about line 100 or so um, you'll see a whole bunch of commented out uh, stuff and uh, the thing that we're going to concentrate on is the Mondrian user role uh, mapper right there's some other ones that that use uh, uh, where you can define what the value is or use session variables and stuff like that but what we're going to do is just concentrate on this we're going to take out the commented stuff here right goodbye commented stuff and then you just save the document right and everything looks okay like all the other beans aren't affected uh, all your XML looks good so basically we just remove the uncommented information out now what you're going to do is reset your your uh, Pentaho instance so if you're running Windows what you would do is go uh, into the main BI server CE or EE depending on what you're using and you would just go to stop Pentaho dot bat and then uh, once the server is completely shut down you go to start or you would use your services you'd stop and start your services uh, if if you have services set up and that is how you would do that so go ahead and do that now and uh, wait till your machine reboots and all that and of course I'll skip all that out so you don't have to see in the video